Hey, Don here. Okay, I got a. I've got a new light. I got two of them actually. Uh, let's get this down here on the table. It's a night light. Oops, I'm trying to get that part right in the middle. <clears throat> Oh, okay, so this is the light. Uh, it's, it's got, you know, it's an alley. I can turn it on right here. That's uh, one brightness. That's uh, less brightness. And then that's uh, blinking. I don't know why they make the blinking thing. Um, and so then it, it just goes through it like that. I don't know if I aim it at the camera, it's just going to be way too bright. Um, That, that blinking is kind of annoying. You ha it's just a circle. You, you just keep punching it until it, when it goes off, it's ready to plug into the little charger. And the charger is, uh, it doesn't have connections, out, outside connections to plug into. It's uh, uh, wireless charging. That's what they usually, they, I forgot the term they always use for it, but uh, <clears throat> It's wireless charging is pretty common. So anyway, uh, when it's plugged in like that, I've got it. Up, I opened it up. So it's kind of falling apart. Uh, it uh, when the um, I won't I won't show that right now because. Uh, but when it's plugged in, it will uh, and the power. Uh, well, it will come on when there's not enough light in the room. You know, it's got a, a light light sensor, and it'll also come on if there, the power goes off to this. So uh, it's. Uh, night light emergency light and it's, i've had one for years uh, that uh, is a little different and well actually i had two of them and uh they've been great i mean I, I, at least five years i don't remember when i bought them at least five years ago uh they think did they yeah i think they still had that model out there of course same old model but it was gone up a lot in price and so this one actually I, I like this better anyway oh i didn't get to the and when it lights i'll show it in a minute but this right here this whole thing uh lights up that's the night light and it's not very not too bright uh but anyway i already had it open and i thought well i ought to make a video i got inside of here and i thought well i'll make a video of it just so i can show what's in there for myself so there's the cover oh and the uh the connectors for the plug, they will turn. Whoops, they turn further when it's not screwed down. So, uh, and that's the only, it's good because, and that's why I bought this, because the other one wouldn't turn and uh, it uh, got in front of the plug, you know, the, where I really wanted it plugged in, it would get in front of the, uh, I have a three way switch, and it's in the bathroom, this one is in the bathroom, three way switch, and so it would get right in front of the bottom switch so uh anyway um can't get too close i think i'll leave it right here because this camera that's about as close as you can get and um have it work or else it just gets way out of focus so it's got a uh it's not going to help but uh it's got a few components here i don't know what they all are i'm not that good at it knowing those things see a capacitor for 4.7 uf capacitor and uh it says 400 volt on it uh, it anyway it is a pretty simple circuit so that's the charging uh, well it's a conversion you know but it, it also would be the charging circuit uh, it's got oh it's got a microcontroller there it looks like can't see any uh I don't know what, there's no numbers on it at all. That probably looks like there's another. Oh, a res, yeah, there's some resistors. 105. So there's uh, ser several ser one, several service mount resistors. But anyway, it's burnt nearly new. You know, I just bought it a few weeks ago. Uh, the only problem with it is <clears throat> when it's plugged in, and then, like I said, I, it's plugged in and I turn it. You know, see, this would be straight up. So when I turn it, 
to miss so that you don't hit it with the switch well it, it turns really really easy and uh, that makes it uh, oh yeah I didn't pick this part up oh it's got two parts there okay so oh the whole thing will come out <clears throat> Okay, so now we can see the board even better. Uh, it's got that winding there. So, uh, of course, for since it there, this is pretty, you know, it sets in here fairly loosely. So when you get, it can go like that far, but it it tends to want to just fall out, and it has to be down in its slot, or it won't charge. It won't charge if it moves up some too. Notice that. But what happens is, you know, when you go to t hit that uh, switch, and I think, this, yeah, the switch that it's close to is the exhaust fan for the bathroom, so it, it gets turned on probably more often than the light, you know. <clears throat> well, as much, I don't know, it gets turned on a lot. <clears throat> so anyway, it's got a detent right there where it wants to stop. Okay, let me look at this. And, uh, oh, okay, there's a, uh, I want to keep wanting, there's a deal right there, I better stay <clears throat> back where it won't focus, I keep forgetting that. Uh, my phones, I always used to make my videos with the phones and you could get two inches from them and it would actually focus. But uh, anyway, that looks like what stops it from spinning all the way around. Of course, you don't want it to spin all the way around, if it did, it would uh, uh, twist the wires up and break them off. But, uh, oh, and there's some kind of, it looks like a, oh, okay, that's the ground, the uh, ground loop, ground lug right there. My, our house doesn't even have that. That's not hooked up. It's not hooked up. It's just there. It actually would, be, that's the only reason you can't. Uh, well, you, with this one, you wouldn't wouldn't help to plug it in the upside down though, because then it would just fall out all the time. You you just need to be able to, you know, when you plug it in, it's you know the the detents like this, and you can go about that far that way, you can go almost that far, and then it'll start wanting to fall out, and you can go that way too. Uh, so uh, I was trying to I opened it up to see if I could figure out a way to. Uh, I must have got it out of whack. Yeah, there we go. Get it. Figure out a way to make it not. Uh... Yeah, you can feel the there's detent on each side. Looks like. Oh, I think I have it upside down or something. Where's that thing? Okay, there's what. Yeah. Oh, there. That's the actual. That one thing there. Big. The big one there. Keeps it from going, but so far, but that's the little detent. I can see it now. Okay. Oh, okay. So there should be three of those little divots. Yeah, there they are. So that's how you can tell how to get it back together if you jack if you get get everything mixed up like I just did. And I said that's how you can tell how to get it back together. <laughs> I've got my safety glasses on because they got more magnification than anything else I got. <clears throat> and I still need this. Okay. Oh, okay. That hits there. I was wrong about the big tab. Oh, there we go. It actually hits a... Oh, that is the big tab. <laughs> okay, so there, there there back to the big whoop, one more and then what yeah okay back to the big tab so it goes pretty far <coughs> there there okay Goes, it will go oh, right there. It wants to hang more on that one, but it actually has more than it can go. Okay. But I uh, can't remember.
Okay, that okay, so the ground log that tells you where uh the center the center spot is. I believe it plugs in like that. If I remember right. <clears throat> Um, and, uh, like uh, this house doesn't have the third wire it's only got two wires but uh, for instance the uh, GFI plug I put in the bathroom is a three way and you can't really find I haven't been able to find the two wire uh, plugs you know AC outlets in quite a few years now once in a while I'll see one but I, I just quit worrying about it and you know I'll just put a the three wire went in and of course you don't have anything to connect the ground wire to but it so it doesn't do anything but <clears throat> I didn't like that idea because of doing that because um, <clears throat> well I didn't want to get a false there's some I can't even think of any examples right now but there's some things that uh, you you know it, it could end up in certain ways or just give you a false sense of security <clears throat> of that ground being there but um uh, <clears throat> the two wire the people a lot of people think it's dangerous it's not um uh, matter of fact i've i've had more trouble with the except with the connectors that have the ground wire than um uh, the two wire in, in this house uh, <clears throat> it uh, and don't don't hook uh, well I won't get off on a on a, on a side story but uh, I didn't think I would be uh, I haven't been awake all that long I thought it was long enough I thought I, I, j I just didn't plan any of this I just said oh well, I should make a video of this so, yeah, got to be down in the little spot good for the, I was thinking when I, before I opened it up, I got to look at it and I thought, well, I might be able to drop a few dots of, you know, super glue on here and lock it where I want it. But, but you know, <clears throat> I don't really want it to be hard to get it to move again if I decide to use it in another place or something. But it just turns too easy, and what? So I had thought I I didn't know how I hadn't really looked at it. So I thought, well, maybe I could. Uh, I thought maybe there might be a, a the thing that stops it might be on this side, you know, out here somewhere, and I could just slide a. I had an idea to cut a piece of thin cardboard and slide it in to hold it. But uh, as soon as I saw it, I'll, oh, that ain't gonna work. <clears throat> Now, and the next thing I was thinking is, well, maybe uh, something that uh, it's not so slick, you know, cut something out, like a gasket sort of thing, or <clears throat> that's not so slick, that would give it a little resistance to sliding, but there's, this is not deep at all, I mean, it's not even an eighth inch deep, and uh, this little slot that it sits into, So, uh, don't know if that's the only thing I can think of, though, that might work. I think it's just gonna, if I did, it would make it set up too high. Be pretty tricky to hand cut something out to fit that perfectly. I was, you know, like I was just gonna get some scissors. But, uh, Oh, okay. Wait a minute. This side has got a groove in it, too. Now, that looks like maybe I could do that. If I could make me a little gasket, either out of cardboard or maybe even a sticky note paper or something, <clears throat> just resist the sliding, because what happens is when you go up to touch the switch, you accidentally bump that and turns a little more, and one day it fell out. I, and, uh, uh-oh, not made very good, is it? Well, shoot. Uh, where did it go? 
what I what has happened here. It's about ready to do it on this side too. Uh, I don't think that helps. It, I, putting a magnifying glass up there can help. A wire broke off. The wire going to that winding. Let's see. <coughs> Now it means I have to solder something. I don't want to. I don't know if you can see that better like that or not. But it's uh, the wire. Is it getting the right place? Now that seems to. Anyway, wire broke off. It's the wire. I hadn't even looked at it. I wasn't even thinking about it. It's solid wire. Well, it was really crappily done, too. That could have gotten... This insulation... Oh, I, I see. The, there's not a, you know, a string... It's, it's the, the winding, the copper winding that's on this. It's... I uh, guess I should have done this whole video on my endoscope. Anyway, the copper winding is comes through. There's some insulation on it, and it goes to the board. Maybe I just saw where it belongs. I should be able to see a broken off tab. If I could see good enough, I would see it. But the insulation is like leaving uh, about three-eighths of an inch just out there, and it could touch any of these other solder spots on the... Uh, on the board but yeah me just letting it dangle in the breeze there broke it afraid the other one's fixing to break off too okay I do have a way to see that I just remembered <clears throat> I have a jeweler's headset. I always forget about that thing when I'm doing something like this. I use it to get it out. I use it mostly all just to uh, trim my fingernails and toenails. And then I don't think about it for other stuff. But that's, this is what this is good for, for sure. Have to get that tight enough or it'll just shut on me. The light makes reflections. Then I've got like three different magnification. There we go. That might be enough right there. And there's this little one-eyed monster here. Too much reflection like that. realize if I end up breaking the other one off I probably won't know where it goes because my memory is not very good okay it's a little blue there and a little blue right there okay and then just doesn't mean the color doesn't mean anything to me it just uh, 
something. I'll change the red one for the other one. <clears throat> if I find it. When I find it. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I can't see. As you can see, me soldering on something this little is not a real good idea. Okay. I'm trying to find a trace, the little tiny piece of copper sticking out where that broke off from. Oh, okay. The light, if I get really close, it doesn't reflect so bad that I can't see. Yeah, there's no mark. Oh, well, there's some glue right by this one that's still there. It looks like maybe they tried to glue it down, but it didn't stick. So there's something to hunt for. There's no marking saying what that is, though, like positive, negative, or anything. There's an L+. Plus, but that's not... Oh, wait. There is a... That might be it. There's a solder joint that didn't, uh, that has a bit of a hole in it. And there might be a piece of wire down in there. That might be where they uh, wouldn't solder good if that's it. Yeah, they have so many uh, big pointy dollops, it makes you think, oh, that's it. Wait, I see a piece of wire on that one. That's got to be it, I think. Where's that broken piece of wire at? Insulation is... It's too long for it now. I may have to cut some off. Let's look again. I know you can't see nothing, but I don't have. Actually, I, even if I used my endoscope, it would be in my way, and I wouldn't be able to do this with it. With it showing the board, so. But yeah, there's definitely a piece of wire there. Okay, the one with the hole in it. No, there's, the, I finally can see down in the one that has a hole in the middle. It just, I think it just doesn't have as much solder on it. It's soldered good. Actually, you know what? I think it's a pre-10 solder joint that was actually never hit, you know. I don't know. There may be the component on the other side, though. I thought the solder joints looked pretty good until I got to where I could see them. Some of them aren't that good. Wait. I may. I have another one. I may have to take it apart to see where that wire goes. I'm, but if I take it apart, I'm liable to break it too. There's one that sticks up with a big point, but... 